Hello and welcome. My name is Sabine Lackner. I am an animal portrait artist and I help and support animal lovers and artists to start drawing their own animal portraits in pastels or to improve their drawing skills. Welcome here today in Animal Art TV. I will do these Animal Art TV sessions now every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central European time. So come watch and write me your, com your uh, questions in the comments. Um, so today I will speak about how to choose matching colors. I often get the question, how do I choose matching colors in my portraits? Um, how can I do that easier? How can it, I determine the colors? So I personally don't have a method to choose them. I do it by my feelings. I'm drawing and then selecting different colors. I feel that they might be good or might fit. And then I like to experiment on the paper. So I try and then choose another color, uh, draw and draw again and mix them a little bit. And it's always uh, different uh, how your printer print the photo. Every printer prints uh, the color slightly differently. So uh, either they are more bluish or they are more yellowish and every screen shows the reference photo a little bit different. So in my opinion, it's not so important to choose exactly the same colors you have on the reference photo. It's more important to have the right contrast and that your values are correct. So the colors um, are not so important. They don't uh, have to be exactly the same. But I have today uh, three tips or three met methods to you that make uh, the color choice a little bit easier for you. So I will share my screen. So here I have a printed reference photo. I have printed this horse eye and I have <clears throat> made a color chart on a pastel mat paper and I have printed here all of the colors I have, all the pit pastel pencils, 60 colors. I have drawn so little squares and then you have here a nice color chart that you can use to uh, choose colors from your printed reference photo. You can hold it here near the colors you want to determine. So perhaps here in the eye, we have brown tones. So we can now hold the color chart here over the printed reference photo. And here, which brown could be best? I would choose here, I think, this one, for example, the Bistar and lighten it up a little bit with a uh, the light flesh, for example, or um, orangey brown, or here you can perhaps use here light flesh, or also in combination with here this um, cream, this ivory colors, or you can here hold your color chart to the main and determine which color would be the best. So per perhaps here uh, the burnt sienna or a red tone. And so you can choose the colors you have, which might fit. You can also do this on the screen when you open your reference photo on the screen and you uh, hold the color chart next to your reference photo. That's a possibility. Another possibility is to I will show it here uh, with the cat eye. I have here opened uh, Photoshop, a photo editing program. So use a photo edi editing program if you have, and then open your reference photo and choose um, the, the color selection tool, the pipette. It's a tool uh, you can then click in the uh, picture and uh, the program will select matching co the colors. The, uh, the program filter out here in the circle that appears the colors and you can hold your color chart next to it and determine the color. This ochre would be great or a mixture. Uh, 
of these two ochre tones. So here I would say I would mix a cream with a light flesh color and then you can mix those both, both colors and you can then uh, draw with those both colors. So this circle shows you filtered colors here when I click in the eye you can see here ochre tones and beige tones so I hold the color chart next to it and yes this ochre is perfect look this really is a beautiful color exactly the same I can use this one or green shades here which green shades um, I cannot find exactly the same in my range of the pits but I will use this one and mix it a little bit with green and so uh, it's a really good process to filter out colors here we have blue light blue and here we have creams and so you can really select your colors you need and then compare with the color chart you have made that's a really good possibility and uh, the this, this third possibility is um, to use um, to punch a hole in a sheet of paper or in a cardboard and then uh, put this hole over your printed reference photo or over your photo on the screen so here for example then you have a color inside of the hole here and then hold your color card next to it and determine oh this could be good this color or perhaps a red a reddish brown color would be good or here in the eye you have brown shades in there which brown i would say a dark brown the walnut brown would be great or you can put this hole uh, everywhere on your reference photo here then you have filtered for example the light flash and so on so that can also help you to determine your colors and to find and select matching colors so i will stop sharing the screen i hope these tips help you to find your colors for your animal portraits or for every portrait you draw you can use this for every technique and for every uh, subject you draw if you are interested in more tips about drawing animals in pastels uh, perhaps my membership animal art club is something for you uh, join the waiting list you get then infos when the doors will open the next time so we, you can find then the link in the comment perhaps that's something for you and then i will um, make a brief summary for you here about the tips so what have you heard today my tips are for selecting matching colors are uh, create your own color chart so make this color chart with all your pencils you have and not only with the pits or with all your pencils you have to determine the colors then um, use your reference your printed reference photo and hold this color chart next to it and determine the colors you want to select or you can use a photo editing program and then use the selection tool the pipette for example in photoshop and uh, filter out colors you need and then hold the color chart next to the filtered colors and uh, you can choose your matching colors or you take a sheet of paper and punch a hole in it like this one here and then hold it over your reference photo and compare with the color chart to find your, your matching colors. So I hope that tips help you. Um, yes, and I wish you uh, lots of fun with drawing. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments below this video. I will answer them, of course. And yes, so then I wish you a nice day, a nice week, and see you next time in Animal Art TV. Wish you all the best. Bye.